Hello, my name is Sherry and I am a pack rat. As I continually attempted to clutter my home, I've been watching a ton of YouTube videos on the subject for inspiration. I thought it would be fun to make a video of my own. So a few months ago, I gave the 30 day minimalist game a try and it was really a great way to get rid of almost 500 items in a short period of time. So this is round two for me. It's day one and I'm going to start with something sentimental. Okay, so this rose was given to me on October 22nd, 2010 by Al Green. Yes, Al freaking Green. Oh my God. I was pressed up against the stage and the first of many women to be handed a rose that night. But I do still have the memories and the photos and I really don't need the actual dried up flower anymore. Day two, and I'm getting rid of these giant inflatable headphones and microphone that I got at a broadcasting convention in the mid 80s. Day three is some art I got while in Israel in 1998. I'd always intended on getting them matted and framed, but after 21 years, if I haven't done it yet, I'm never gonna do it. This is going in the donation pile. Day four, I went through my shoes and I found two pair that are ready for the trash. This pair, and the purple ones that I never wore that still have the tag on it, and this one hurts. <laughs> I love these shoes, but they just don't fit anymore. As an obsessive Tim Curry fan, I went through a phase of collecting everything I could find that had anything that had to do with him. And that's how I ended up with these five Three Musketeers Bendham action figures. I really only wanted the Cardinal Richelieu, but I found it cheaper on eBay to buy the whole set. So that's why, as well as Tim Curry, I also have Kiefer Sutherland, Oliver Platt, Chris O'Donnell, and Charlie Sheen. These are all going back on eBay. That can be Day six and I'm decluttering six audiobooks all read by Tim Curry. True confession time, I never listened to any of them. So I really didn't have a lot of time to declutter today so I just took a quick peek along some surfaces and I found these seven items I could do without. I've decluttered my kitchen twice in the last year, and somehow this set of eight blue glasses has made the cut both times. But you know what they say, third time's the charm. These are getting donated. Day nine are some CDs and DVDs that were just lying around the living room. Okay, so it's day 10 and I'm getting rid of a few random things that have just like this makeup bag and some books, cute little Hanukkah Rubik's Cube, a chipped Follies mug, a very uncomfortable happy birthday tiara. These two name badges were samples, I don't even know why I kept them. And this moose charm that I got while I was in Alaska because I thought it looked like a high. So it's day 11 and I'm only contractually obligated to get rid of 11 things, but I'm gonna let go of all 19 of these gift bags plus this pretty box and some wrapping paper. Sometimes when I'm decluttering, I can get overwhelmed, feeling like I need to finish an entire project in one setting. But with a minimalist game, since today I only need to declutter 12 items, it's okay to just go through one or two drawers and not the whole dresser. A few years ago, I used to have a booth at a rummage sale, and for day 13, I pulled out 13 items that didn't sell. This almost feels like cheating because I decided years ago to get rid of these things, but at this point, I'm just going to donate them. Day 14 for my scrapbooking supplies, seven decorative edge scissors and seven hole punches. More scrapbooking supplies for day 15. There's some craft punches, a dried out glue stick, some markers and chalk that are also dried out, some fancy fasteners and brads, and one more pair of decorative scissors that we missed yesterday. So I mentioned a few days ago that I've already decluttered my kitchen twice in the last year, but both times I skipped above the sink and below the sink. So for day 16, I decluttered this cabinet and I'm getting rid of these 15 items plus the mop. All right, so it's day 17 and I pulled out some Christmas LPs that I actually wanted to get rid of last year but didn't and they've been in my living room this whole time. So this first one I got because of Jack Benny on the cover, Ella Fitzgerald. This is Bob and Doug McKenzie. It has takeoff on one side and the 12 days of Christmas on the other. The Partridge Family, Lou Rawls, Jimmy Rogers, Bobby Sherman. Here's a sampler of a bunch of different Boston rock bands. This is two radio shows. One of them is Amos and Andy. Three Stooges. Here's an 80s sampler that includes Band-Aid. Do they know it's Christmas? How the Grinch Stole Christmas.
This is a 80s record, but it's a bunch of 60s, 70s artists like Three Dog Night and Paul Revere and the Raiders. Another 80s sampler. The Christmas Jug Band. That band was led by Dan Hicks. So this one is also from the 80s. It's a bunch of soap opera stars singing Christmas carols. And look here. It's Lori Loughlin. This one actually could be a collector's item. And from Ronco, it's a Christmas present. Cute, huh? Day 18 is an assortment of Rocky Horror Picture Show cards. There's five greeting cards, seven postcards, and six stickers. Day 19 and I decided to start going through my jewelry box. I found I could live without these 16 necklaces plus one matching bracelet and two bolo ties. These were considered quite cool in the 90s. It's day 20, and since I don't really give wrapped presents anymore, I'm getting rid of these gift boxes and tags, 11 rolls of ribbon, and these pretty, pretty bows. Day 21 took care of some bathroom clutter. One thing I've learned from watching minimalism videos is to use it up and discard it. And here's a great example. There's one tablet left in this box, and it's been in the cabinet for almost a year, and it is not doing the toilet any good from in there. It's day 22 and time to start tackling my desk. Here's the before photo. And as you can see, this would become a clutter magnet. There's bags and boxes of stuff under the desk too. So over the next three days, I sorted everything into three categories, toss, donate, and keep. So here are the items being tossed. There's actually a total of 64 of them. Just your average type stuff that you'll find on a desk like a glow stick from a Barry Manilow concert and rules to cribbage from a board that I gave away several years ago, some earplugs, also negatives from some really horrible snorkeling photos from the Great Barrier Reef. The trip was awesome, but my underwater photos didn't turn out very good. Okay, so this one made me laugh a lot. I may actually end up keeping it. It's a note from about 10 years ago left on my then brand new car by someone who hit it while parking, but all the contact info on it was fake. The dent was minor though, so it really was no big deal. On to the giveaway pile. 13 things, including three Palm Springs International Film Festival posters from the early 90s, this happy birthday balloon from three years ago. The next friend who's having a birthday is gonna get this. So combined over the three days, I purged 77 items, put away about another 12, but there are still way too many things in the keep pile that I don't know what to do with. So I think I'm gonna have to wait a week or so and go through that stuff again. On top of my desk, I had this huge pile of papers for scrapbooking. I had both 12 by 12 and 8.5 by 11 decorative papers and cardstock. I also had construction paper, tracing paper, fancy mulberry paper, vellum, and color copier paper. So on day 25, I sorted through all of this, plus this bag of scraps and some partial kits. Day 26 are stickers. Tons and tons of stickers. All of these are complete sets, but I also have those partially used. It's day 27 and you guessed it, more scrapbooking supplies. Here are alphabet stickers. And I also have some alphabet embellishments. Now these sets have been pretty well picked through, so I'm gonna consider everything in the box as one. Today I'm also getting rid of some borders some tags and pockets, some frames and random embellishments. Now, there's more than 27 items here, but that's okay. Day 28, lanyards. I used to go to a lot of film festivals. It's day 29 and I finished going through my jewelry box. I hardly ever wear any jewelry, so it actually was quite easy to get rid of these four necklace charms, two bracelets, two pins, and 21 pairs of earrings. Okay, so this might seem strange, but for day 30, I'm decluttering my change and I'm taking it to the bank. Like a lot of people, I just throw my change in a box and a couple times a year I'll roll the coins, but then I never do anything with them. And now I have this heavy box with close to $50 in it. All right, 30 days done and that, as they say, is a wrap. I'm gonna insert a couple of photos of the aftermath of what decluttering over 500 items looks like. Playing the men's game and making this video have really been a lot of fun. I still have so much more to declutter though that I'm going to start over with round three very soon. I sincerely wanna thank you so much for watching 
watching this video. If you stayed all the way to the end, I love you. I tried really hard to keep it under 10 minutes, and I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.